was running on the Windows 8.1, but could, you know, could be running on the Windows 10. Uh, we have already, you know, some previews available. You have uh, heard about the news, uh, and uh, more information will come soon. But uh, clearly, it's, it's a big transformation for us in terms of Microsoft coming and having one product that has a multi-screen that runs across different products and different devices. But um, let, me, let me focus on today, uh, in the next couple of minutes, about you know, how Microsoft see uh, the world transforming in terms of connectivity. How do we think that uh, information and devices come together in one place? And um, I will touch a bit about the Internet of Things, but most likely I will, you know, uh, share some insights that we gather inside of the company about how can we support, you know, business, how can we support retailers in this case, and also consumers with the investments that we are doing in Microsoft. Uh, you will see later that, you know, devices and cloud is, you know, the center of our innovation, and Microsoft has been you know, um, on the enterprise business for many years. Consumer for us is quite new. We have a new organization that is the consumer channels group in, uh, in the world, in, in APEC, that is less than four years. So clearly we are, you know, uh, becoming a relevant player in, uh, in this world of the consumer. But let's start with one thing. There are a lot of questions about what is Internet of Things? And uh, this is a buzz that many people, you know, uh, has heard in their lives. And, you know, GFK, you know, basically uh, touched this before. There are so many devices, new devices that are coming into our lives. You know, some of them more relevant, some of them less relevant. But one thing is important here. All of the devices from, you know, the smartphones, from the sensors, they need to be connected in order to provide information to us. And um, this is what, you know, make our lives easier when we can get insights from this information. And this is where Microsoft can play, you know, the big role in the industry that basically, you know, we can, you know, connect all of these devices. You remember, you know, Microsoft acquired Nokia and, uh, you know, the theme of Nokia was connecting people. And I will say right now, you know, Microsoft is more than connecting people is connecting devices and connecting people. And this is, you know, part of our strategy. You see a couple of examples that, you know, the Internet of Things is today present in our lives. And in fact, it's not the future, it's today. And uh, one is, you know, I want to share, Connect is part of our Xbox ecosystem and platform that is bringing a new experience to the consumers that basically, you know, are, you know, up in, into the game experience. There is another one that, you know, um, I will um, want to touch here. We have de deployed in terms of the Microsoft campus a lot of sensors that in order to reduce consumption uh, into the campus. And, and basically this has been one of the key initiatives that using new devices sensors is basically giving us, you know, a lot of insights about not just savings but also about how should we organize ourselves inside of, of the, the office. There are a couple of them like, for example, uh, and GFK touched this about uh, what is the consumer experience or what is the trends or the behaviors that is behind, you know, the people that buy, you know, devices like Fitbit that basically is all helping monitoring, you know, not, not just the health but also uh, how do we, you know, want to run our lives in terms of, of activities. And there are, you know, all of this present today uh, in our life. And, um, what I think is important here for us to, to share is Internet of Things is present today. If you look in terms of 2014, there are around $2.3 trillion that has been spent uh, in terms of devices and also in terms of connectivity. But what I think is important here to listen is when we look in the next four years, this value is going to double. And this is very relevant. And if we look in terms of the retail business is moving from 160 billion to 326 billion dollars, that is a huge opportunity. 
There are other areas that are also relevant here for us to watch, but clearly, and because we are today uh, in a way with uh, audience that is, you know, I will say resellers and retailers, I want to touch on this one in order to have this opportunity. Uh, looking for new devices, new opportunity, business in terms of also application that is coming in our way. But, you know, the question here is how Microsoft plays in this world? And uh, I want to share with you uh, an expression that Gardner sent out. Microsoft can be, can bring a complete technology stack for the Internet of Things. And why this is relevant? Because Microsoft, when you look, we have been really, for many years, an enterprise company. And we are, you know, since, um, you know, many years also we produce uh, products for consumers. But in fact, in the last four or five years, we have a strategy in order to become a relevant player in terms of consumers. But what I think is important, why can we bring this, you know, stack of technology uh, into our lives? Because we are a platform company. We are a productivity company. We are a company that develop tools in order to help you know, developers to build applications. And in fact, we are a company that also are present in the, in the gaming business with a couple of devices like Xbox and games. Allo is a great example of this. That is, you know, uh, I will say, uh, key highlights in terms of the gaming industry. So really, Microsoft has all of the ingredients in order to bring uh, to our lives, one platform, one strategy that will help in terms of the Internet of Things. And um, the question here is, how can Microsoft help you in order to bring this to life? And um, there are three key things that we are working in order to build uh, and help uh, you and help also us in order to be more efficient and productive. The first one is, we need to build leading edge applications. We need to build applications that are scalable and that will help us to run our business. The second one that is also important is we need to make these applications easy for us to use every day. Uh, and this is coming the consumerization of IT. Really important that you know, everyone can use and can take out you know, the power of these applications. And the last one is to make sure that we take out from you know, all of this what is the business insights uh, that can help me on the, 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 on, the, on the enterprise side, but also at the same time, how can this help me you know, to run my life in an easy way? And clearly, we think that you know, Microsoft has a unique strategy uh, today to deliver this to our enterprise and also our consumers. And I want just to share a quick example here. How can we help retailers in order to address their top challenge? Uh, HP already spoke about, you know, about this, but I want to clearly touch in two or three key areas. The first one is Windows is a unique experience. And uh, I, I give you an example. Uh, with, uh, I will say always that the Windows phone is the most personal in differentiate you know, phone that you can have. The screen you can optimize to your way in the best way that you want. And for me, it's clearly very personal. I cannot find you know, another person that has the same start screen or the same screen in terms of the, the, the Windows phone. But also, what I think is very important is my experience will be the same on the phone or will be the same on the PC or will be the same on, on the tablet. So there is this seamless experience today that is helping us to have uh, the best cost customer experience that we can offer in terms of the industry. The second one is I want to touch is Windows is the most secure platform that we have today in terms of business and in terms of consumer. And uh, there are a lot of you know, examples and research uh, that, has, that we have done, and you know, I can share with you basically that um, in terms of security, Windows is, um, you know, I will say number one in terms of 
um, responsiveness and in terms of you know blocking attacks that we have today in terms of of the internet so it, by default is the most secure uh, the secure platform that we have and in fact in Microsoft we have been investing in this since the last you know seven or eight years we have the we have uh, all inside uh, Microsoft we have a, a division that is basically uh, is fully dedicated to make sure that the security of the platform and the windows is coming across uh, all of the products that we have. And the last one, I will say, gain better insights. And one of the things that it's important for us is with the platform, how can we bring insights into the retailers? And um, we just launched uh, last month uh, a retail experience center here in Singapore. And one of the things that we have our top managed retailers there, 65 retailers across the region. And basically one of the things that we showed to them was how can these sensors, how can these devices uh, help the retailers to make the best decisions in terms of the product location, but also in terms of the offers. We have showed this to the, our top managed retailers and it's clearly, you know, based on our platform, something that, you know, can help us in order to drive insights and also better business decisions. Uh, this is, you know, something that um, I want to share. I will not, you know, talk too much, but in Microsoft we have different verticals. And retail is one vertical where we work very close with our managed partners in order to bring this to life. And a couple of things like track inventory. How many of you have entered in a store that basically, you know, when you pick up, you know, the the product that you want, automatically the system send a sign off to the back end in order to come and, you know, uh, put the product again in the shelf. There are so many cases of this that is relevant and existing today in terms of, of, um, in terms of the industry. But another thing that is important is to make sure that we provide the real value to the consumer. And uh, for example, if I enter in the store, doesn't matter if it's online or, you know, or in-store purchase, you know, the information be available. What has the consumer bought before that is helping, you know, basically to make decisions. So there are a couple of areas that basically as a company, in this vertical, we help, you know, our partners in terms of the implementation. But let me talk about what is the Microsoft strategy. And uh, in fact, one of the things that I mentioned before, Microsoft has been on, you know, actively uh, on the consumer business, I will say, creating this division in the last four or five years. But if you look in terms of Xbox has been, you know, in the market for 10 or 11 years. So basically, what you can see here, our strategy is around two things, devices and cloud. And this is very clear. If you heard our CEO, that is mobile first, cloud first, is part of our strategy today. And um, I just want to share with you a couple of things. In the last couple of months, we, or, or, or I will say in the last couple of months, yes, less than one year, we made tremendous efforts in order to change, you know, the way that we bring devices to the market. And, um, you know, we work, we have great partners like HP, like Lenovo, other companies. But at the same time, one of the things that we saw was basically low-cost devices growing fast. And uh, we didn't play in this, in this space. And basically, since um, 10 months ago, we created a new initiative in Microsoft in order to bring these devices into life. And uh, there are, you know, a big, you know, a number of wins that we have in the last five or six months that basically uh, partnering with Intel and also with other partners in order to bring new devices to life. In these devices, I just give you an, I want to show, uh, we have, a, uh, we have a, you know, upstairs there is a, a showroom where you can go and see all of these devices, but I want to, to show one of the devices that in fact in APEC uh, we have pushed in the last six, seven months in order to get in life. This is a Windows, you know, this is a seven inch, you know, tablet that is basically is running the Windows Phone OS. And you, you know that we have Windows, you know, seven inch with the Windows car, but this is a new product that we just, you know, uh, that we just launched that is basically uh, running Windows 7. And this is, if you look basically what um, GFK mentioned about, 
you know, what the, how important and relevant are these devices for this region. In fact, this is extremely important for us to do it uh, in this region. Another, another device that I want to share with you is there are a lot of new devices. There are a lot of new, you know, PCs coming in different form factors. And what I want to share with you is this is a full PC. This is really a full PC that you can go, you can plug it with uh, HDMI, and you can have your PC running on this one. So this is, you know, you will see more and more a lot of new devices coming to life. And I saw, I was in Korea last week and I saw another two devices that, that are, you know, a bit bigger than this, but really very small scale that will come, you know, very soon. This, this is changing and it's going to change the way uh, that we, you know, uh, that we drive the industry. And, you know, clearly, it's not going to replace my laptop, but there's additional devices, there's additional opportunity for all of you that are basically in this, um, in this business. And let's be clear, Microsoft has been investing a lot on the consumer side. Uh, if you look in the last couple of, you know, um, two or, one or two years, we made really big, you know, acquisitions in terms of you know, assets that will help us to drive the consumer business. We bought Nokia, we bought Skype, uh, we launched Windows, you know, uh, below nine inch that is free in terms of um, the devices. So clearly we are, you know, changing and transforming ourselves in order to make sure that all of this device, all of the internet of things, all of the new devices that is coming, uh, Microsoft is present. But more important on this is, it's not just the device, is how can we connect the device? How can we access all of this information? How can I be productive as a consumer or in the enterprise? And we have launched Office 365. Office 365 is um, the fastest growth product that we have in Microsoft history. Uh, we have over 5 million you know, users right now, a product that has been uh, launched uh, one year ago and clearly is one of the key products for us in terms of, you know, productivity. Uh, other products like S Skype, Skype counts over 25% of international traffic today in terms of calls. Really big assets that the company has and all of this is important for us as a strategy. So, you know, you look into the devices, you look into the data, and you need to have something that is the glue, or the glue in terms of uh, the, the information. And in fact, Microsoft has all, you know, all of the assets in order to bring this into the life. And, um, but what is important is, yes, okay, you guys have the products, but how can you guys help me, you know, to be profitable? How can you guys help me in order to grow my business? And in fact, you know, there are a couple of things that we do today with our partners. The first one is, you know, when we, we think we drive traffic into the stores, we had, you know, uh, and I had a couple of discussions with, you know, uh, our key partners, and in fact, you know, every time that we launch a new product, there is excitement, why? Because this bring traffic into the stores, bring traffic also in terms of online, and there is a new business opportunity for all of us in terms of, of the business. Uh, but, you know, also what I think is important is for us, there are two other key areas. One is, you know, and uh, HP touched this, you know, what is the work that we do in the store in terms of conversion, but also what is important for us in terms of attach. We know today that, um, you know, the profitability is coming in most of the cases from the attach, maybe less in terms of when we sell these devices. Unless it's, you know, new devices that is coming into, into the market that in fact they have a better margin than versus existing devices like PCs or tablets today. But I want to share with you, this is, you know, the average reseller margin, you know, some of them, you know, some of you has better or worse margins, but this is what I think is important. We need to sell uh, additional products in order to increase the productivity or the profitability in terms of, of the device space. And, and I think Microsoft is well positioned in order to help you in a couple of these areas. The accessories is one, the service is another one where basically we can help you in terms of driving the margin 
uh, into your business. And let me finish with, uh, with a slide. What I think is important is there are a big buzz in terms of Internet of Things. There are many new devices. This is important. If I can get insights, if I can get the data connected, if I can you know, be more efficient, if I can you know, enjoy more my life with all of these devices. And I do think Microsoft as a, as, as a unique uh, has been positioned uniquely in this, in this side. Why? Because, in fact, you know, with our technology, you can access to all of this information anywhere and any device. And this is, you know, was something that GFK really mentioned before, that with, you know, all of this connectivity uh, across the world, what is important is to make sure that I access the information, and this information is available anywhere. And the last thing that I want to say is basically uh, it's around what, you know, in Microsoft we are fully, um, you know, we are fully dedicated to make it this easier. You know, this matter, you know, if we, you know, bring, you know, products to life, uh, if they doesn't, if they, if they don't, you know, uh, to, um, bring, you know, a easier life for us. And when you look in terms of the Windows 10, this is the case, okay? So Windows 10 is the first product that is going to run, you know, cross, you know, uh, devices that has one, one store. So today, even if you look in terms of, we have two stores, we have the Microsoft Store for, you know, the phone and we have the Microsoft Store for, you know, the PCs and the tablets. And with this, we will create one unique experience for the consumer. So we are, you know, focused to make sure that we bring you know, this seamless experience into the consumers and also into uh, the enterprise. So thank you and, um, you know, I will pass to, to you. Thank you. Thank you.